Welcome to MacLord Games! What do magicians have to offer the game? I'm not talking about the purple guy with the freaking stick. I'm talking about the magician pendulum archetype. What does it have to offer? What is it good for? And what does it do? Well, let's find out. So you have Dragon Pit Magician. It is a level 7 spellcaster with a pendulum skill of 8. And once per turn, if you have a magician card in your other pendulum zone, you can discard one pendulum monster, then target a spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. That is really good, and it there is a nice little combo with this throughout the actual archetype. Next we have Oath Dragon Magician. It is a level 6 spellcaster with a pendulum scale of 2. If you have a magician card in your other pendulum zone, you can add one face-up magician or odd eyes pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, except Oath Dragon Magician. That is extremely good. And Oath Dragon does have another monster effect that is also really good. If it is normal or special summoned, you can target one magician or uh, odd eyes monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. So he is good for recyclability. You can get a lot of cards back really easily and he's just downright amazing and he has a very low scale and the other one Dragon Pit has a really high scale so you can summon anything from level 3 to 7 when you're playing this as a pendulum set so there's gonna be a lot of fun combos to come with that but what else does this need for the combo well Wisdom Eye Magician it is a level 4 spellcaster with a pendulum scale of 5 if you have a Magician or Performer Pell card in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy this card, and if you do, place one Magician Pendulum Monster from your deck in your Pendulum Zone, except Wisdom Eye Magician. Wisdom Eye Magician's effect is not limited to once per turn, so you can actually get two Wisdom Eyes, and then use both of their effects, and get multiple searches into the Dragon Pit or the Oath Dragon. Now, those are the main cards you need for the combo, and the way that it works is you use, uh, you use Wisdom Eye to destroy itself, which it goes to the extra deck, and then you get the other one. Well, you get the other one of whatever you have. So if you have Dragon Pit, you go and get Oath Dragon. Or if you have Oath Dragon, you get Dragon Pit. And then you use Oath Dragon to return Wisdom Eye Magician to your hand, and then you discard it for Dragon Pit to destroy one spell or trap card on the field. Now, there is other P Magician monsters, one of them being Dragon Pulse Magician. It is a level 4 with a pendulum scale of 2 that has a similar effect to Dragon Pit, but instead of discarding to destroy a spell or trap card, you discard to destroy a monster. As well as they have a few other various magicians, but these are the main ones that you actually see getting used because they are pretty good. But are these guys searchable? Yes, they are. So the best monster you can use to search for them is Performer Pal Scroll Cobat Joker. When it is normal summoned, you can add one Performer Pell Monster, Magician Pendulum Monster, or Odd Eyes Monster from your deck to your hand. That right there is really good. So keep that in mind. He is going to be your main searcher for it, and he is a Dark Spellcaster. For spells, the most important spell for the deck is a spell card by the name of Pendulum Call. At the cost of discarding one card, you can add two Pendulum Monsters, well two Magician Pendulum Monsters, from your deck to your hand, and also until the end of your opponent's next turn, Magician cards in your Pendulum Zones cannot be destroyed by card effects. So if you use Pendulum Call, don't bother getting a Wisdom Eye, because Wisdom Eye won't be able to destroy itself to get another card. And you also cannot use Pendulum Call to turn you activate a Magician Monster's effect, though you can use their effects after you activate Magician Call. So that is a way to keep it balanced. Now, how would you go about defeating Magicians in a duel. Well, keep them from getting out their stuff. If they go and activate Wisdom Eye, go ahead and MST it, or Typhoon, or whatever kind of backer you have set. An amazing tech card is Swaying Gaze, or well actually now known as Wavering Eyes. Wavering Eyes is an amazing card. It is pretty much the best card that you can use against Magicians. Now, if they use Pendulum Call, Wavering Eyes doesn't exactly do too much. But, if they didn't Pendulum Call, and they set up their scale, Wavering Eyes is fair game. Because it destroys as many Pendulum monsters in the Pendulum Zones as possible, and then you apply a various number of effects. You can add one Wavering Eyes from Reject Your Hand if you've destroyed four. For three, you are able to banish one card on the field. For two, 
you are able to add one pendulum monster from your deck to your hand, and for one, you inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Wavering Eyes in the deck is extremely good, because you can combo off of it if your opponent would try to destroy your stuff, you can go ahead and use Wavering Eyes, and then get it back in your extra deck, and then get pluses off it. So Wavering Eyes isn't too horrible, considering with Wavering Eyes you can get the Skulker Bat Joker, and then Skulker Bat Joker back into whatever it was that was destroyed. So it kind of allows you to loot the process a little bit and kind of jump around MSTs and other Wavering Eyes and stuff like that. But that is an overall look at Magicians and what they are. Um, these are the ones that I use. They are extremely good for making any kind of pendulum deck, especially if you want one that's able to be able to keep up speed and be able to control the board a little bit. This is just a great, fantastic archetype and fantastic set of cards that all works together as one really good engine. So if you need a good pendulum engine, Magicians is fantastic, and I do recommend it to everybody. So if you liked the video, go ahead and leave that like button. Leave a comment down in the comment section below, and subscribe today for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Peace out.